Go ahead. Traveling into this episode. <laughs> Get it? Because our last episode was traveling. <laughs> wow, what the start going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome to... Lagasia Ara. Surana Titania Atra the Mingadan. Kurikara the Mingadan. Oh. Oh, Neheda. நீங்கதான் இப்ப ரீசெண்டா ஏதோ யூனிவர்சிட்டி கிராஜுவேட் பண்ணிருக்கீங்க ஏதோ சொல்லி கேள்விப்பட்டது இதே கல்யாணம் <laughs> 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 like these guys mom oh my god every time i come over they, she like there's always someone else too she'd be like you work in a kalyana park and i'm like no you're not <laughs> so your amma said to look for her. i'm like no she didn't stop <laughs> no, but, but that's literally like coming back to it is because like they everyone wants to get me arranged marriage too because they're like does she have a love or not they don't know do you have a love or not you don't know we oh. won't be dis- disclosing that information just yet on this episode no. but i'm curious to know if your parents were arranged or love marriage so my parents were actually arranged marriage really and yeah they literally look like love marriage I yeah they literally. actually I how about was, you guys mine was arranged marriage as well yeah. yeah oh my god like it's so weird because like i feel like my entire life i've seen them like happy in love and like it went so well for them yeah. like how was it for you guys too yeah like it's similar i we have a whole story like yeah, in terms of how our story. parents it was like a love out. arranged marriage oh. yeah i think I don't even know if I'm going to say this story properly, but it was something along the lines of, like, my dad was already in Canada, and my mom was back home, uh-huh. and then so they, like, wanted, like, a Canada amapole for my mom and stuff, <laughs> and it's, like, arranged, everything's set up, and then afterwards, they're like, no, but then by then, like, they already fell in love, you know, so, like, they're, like, talking on the phone and stuff, so then... Yeah, they ended up getting married. So it was like a rage, but it was also love at the same time. Oh my yeah. god, that's so funny. You should make like the talking on the phone thing was like huge, right? Like now we have like, you know, FaceTime, like yeah. emails, like whatever whatever. But like then that's what my mom would tell me how like after they got arranged like my mom would like sneak and go find the phone and call him but my dad was some cool guy from the states, right? Like she yeah. was in Canada at the time. So every time he answered the phone, he would like, "Hello." Oh, I'm busy right now, but I'll call you later. And she's like, okay, okay. And he would never call her back. Oh, really? <laughs> he was so he played, ha- bad. He he like, played hard to he get. He did, literally. And, like, my mom was so gorgeous, right? And I was asking my dad, I was like, did you, like, fall in love with her picture? And he's like, no. I was like, so when did you fall in love? I was like, after the marriage. I was like, a girl. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, she looked nice, whatever. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. um. So basically how they got arranged was like my grandpa just knew like their family like yeah. you know so everyone's related in Pungri they were anyway <laughs> so then they called up they're like we know you have a son we have a daughter you want to get arranged and they're like mm, okay i guess as long as the dowry money comes through i'm like yeah oh, like, that's These... a whole different topic to get on yeah um, like the We have a local broker too. We have a broker for that too. No. <laughs> <laughs> We have this broker. I'm not going to disclose his name, uh, but he's the one that like match makes in our like family and anytime okay. we need to find a like match, he has all the pictures ready. Uh-huh. Head to toe Canada map like Canada from like, he has everyone. But yeah, he also one of the most important things, education, dowry. Mm, literally. Like I find that concept so weird. Like the fact that it's like i'll give you like this many thousand dollars in here take my daughter and like, like gold like it's so a lot I, it, yeah they even bargain for my mom they bargain they're like that doesn't sound like a lot of money and they're like okay about a couple of thousand more and they're like okay like <laughs> bro no cuz like the fact that like they're asking for money like you're already getting her daughter yeah. and you need more on top of that literally <laughs> that's so interesting and i find it even more interesting that like like the daughter's family is like begging you know it's kind of like they're begging they're like yeah. this is my daughter but here like here's like 30 pounds of jewelry here's like hundred thousand dollars like he's why? a connie for you yeah like, yeah like the worth of your daughter goes up based off how much you give them literally yeah, yeah. but you know what but that like, concept is not far from where we are today like it still happens like i don't know if you guys noticed but like like even in the concept of like 
I'll pay for the wedding. You know, like when mm. parents are like, "Nan, fulla kasa katre," or like mm. this voodoo right? Like yeah. it still does exist. Yeah, I feel like it right now though. It's a lot less than obviously it was yeah. back then, but like. I feel like right now a lot of people are independent and they are finding their own loves. Like you don't yeah. hear about much arranged marriage stories, <laughs> but like recently I at least I've seen so many stories how like all of the young people are getting arranged marriage. Yeah. But like in a cool way. Like, like their yeah. their arranged marriage have the biggest love story. Yeah, in it. literally. Yeah. Like they would arrange but they're dating, you know? Like which yeah. is such a weird concept to me because I always grew up being like I don't want an arranged marriage, I want a love marriage, you yeah. know? Arranged marriage I think definitely has like evolved and changed right because like i feel like when i was a kid i looked down upon like arranged marriage and like, it, it, it kind of gave me like like a sense of forcingness right mm-hmm. and if someone's forcing someone on upon me like no i don't want it yeah exactly but like i think it's so much different now right yeah i feel like nowadays like before it was like this is who you're marrying but now it's like which one of which one of these do you want to marry yeah literally and it's like when you think of it it's literally like tinder for like amapa they pick and choose and then it's just like okay go no, go on your date literally. basically and yeah. i feel like the why a lot of people are opting towards that is cuz like if you think about it like one of the prime times you will potentially find someone is like school yeah. right think about it like that's where you meet so much people and then in the workforce you're barely going to see anyone of your religion or people that you vibe with if that's what you want right yeah. so then adhuga brain say the tinder la right swipe panna adhu da varuvaanga you know yeah. what i mean yeah. so this I is guess, like a verified tinder like everyone he knows his mama karan you know like, what i you mean you can date him publicly and you won't get anything for it <laughs> literally like amma sir i can date okay <laughs> <laughs> like you're getting your mom's approval yeah literally so it's definitely very different but yeah honestly to be honest like thus far everyone i know on my end like has been love marriage like really? i actually don't know much people that have gotten arranged marriage in like today's society or like more of like a modern like you know like our yeah. our generation but that's why i feel like even now like yeah like arranged marriage is so like i'm open minded to it i feel like it's still a new concept to me right cuz mm-hmm. all my cousins at least thus far have been like love right yeah. and they're doing well i think so they they're, they're doing well <laughs> <laughs> so i think it's something it is definitely i think newer to the new, uh, like new generation of kids right uh-huh. so yeah yeah i don't mean like the first arranged marriage that i've seen is my cousin basically yeah and um i was shocked cuz it was just like all of a sudden she's like yeah i have a man and i'm like wait what what happened like yeah. you know and she's like the most independent person i know so i was like how was this love story let me hear it and she's like it was arranged i'm like wait what you know like not knowing that they can get like they fall in love after this arranged marriage right so it was just so different to see and i think people have like this stigma around like yes. arranged marriage where it's like they don't think it's like true love or yeah. like yeah. or other people don't think that if they were arranged marriage it's not true love yeah right that's what i think like wh- when i was younger i didn't want uh, arranged marriage because i was like i want love like love marriage and like you know i want to go against the parents and be like this is my true love <laughs> yeah. yeah a little rebellious right? yeah, yeah literally yeah. so then like when i'm starting to hear these stories of arranged marriage where they're like literally so in love and they work so well together because you know they're put at them their everything is right for them it's very you know it's very interesting to me but i'm like like imagine like you start talking to someone like i feel like love okay say tell me if i'm wrong i feel like it's such a long process to get to know someone uh-huh. so like are you like how long are you going to stay in that relationship of That's a really marriage? good question how long do you think you need to date or know someone before you get married i think you'll know really? really i think like don't you feel like i feel like people evolve and change over time so don't you think someone who you met like one month can be different based on like after 7 months but i think because they're at a set age they know their life they've literally gone through like everything and they're like at their final not final stage like they're not going to die but like <laughs> i just mean like they've gone through many experiences they probably even gone through like first loves and everything so when they get to the arranged marriage like they know their life they are who they are i don't think they will change drastically from that month to this whereas like when you're younger like we're still developing if we have that love story when you're younger i feel like that person can change but know? even like as if like how long do you need to understand people's morals the way that they like i don't know i like I how i think i have a philosophy on that like i mean i heard it from someone else and i kind of like i guess i could relate to it it's like you have to see this person every season 
spring, summer, winter, fall. Okay? okay. And like how they interact in each season in the kulir kala, in this hot season. And like obviously, like for example, in the winter, do they snow valiku with you or not? Oh. Are they inside? Are they lazy? In the summer, do they like to go exploring or do they want to stay at home in the AC? Yeah. Do they like driving with the windows down or do they want, do they want to blast the air conditioning? Yeah. You know, like things like that. So I kind of do agree with that. And I think another point that you brought up, which I thought was so interesting, was as you grow, you experience like different types of love, right? Mm. So like, do you believe, like there's this thing, it's like your first love is like your biggest, no, is your first break? Is what your, is that? No, I, really it's, I think it's your first love is your... Uh, no, your first love is like a childhood love. Like, it's like yeah. a small thing. And then your second love is like the biggest breakup of your life. Biggest like, heartbreak. It's your turning point. Yeah. Wow. And then the third one is when you actually find the, the love, love of your, of your life. life. Damn, so you're telling me I still have to get into two relationships. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I have heard that. And it is interesting because it's just like, I think what it is, it doesn't even have to be like love, like boyfriend, girlfriend. I think it goes with like, any relationship that you have even with your best friend your friends or whatnot because you go through certain life like experiences lessons yeah, lessons, yeah with them so i definitely think so yeah so that i guess that relates back to what you were saying as you mature mm. like i feel like when i was younger like i would obviously when i was like 18 19 i would be like yeah i need to date for like you know like seven eight years right yeah i'm 23 i mean 22 now <laughs> <laughs> seven eight years is like yeah. right? i guess as you get older you guys are just more mature and you can understand people quicker yeah. yeah right so like i do like get the concept of arranged marriage in the sense that like like they meet and the order of because they they understand that. Yeah, no, man. Yeah. I think that just speaks to like how like when we were younger we didn't understand that. Yeah. Right? And now like when we look at it, it's like and we're in it. It's yeah. like you know, we actually don't need that long to be able to tell. Even like the simplest thing, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, but like when you go to a dinner with someone yeah. and their table manners. Oh, oh my god. Literally. Yeah. I feel like I guess that is true. So like in that one year period of time you can like all the small things will add up to like Mm -hmm. who they are as a person literally yeah yeah especially i feel like when you're older too you have the time to invest your time into that person as well whereas like when you're younger you're doing so many different things still trying to figure it out and you're still trying to figure out who you are yeah which is so funny that you guys say that because i think a lot of questions like people like not a lot of people ask me but they're like your dating life or whatever whatnot right and it's like i feel like i need to have something this is my philosophy but i feel like i need to be able to put certain things on the table in order for me to be in a relationship you know like mm. i want to be able to offer something and i feel like as you get older yeah. you have so much more to offer yes you know and like i'm complete i am a note and this is who i am yeah and like i feel like that itself in itself makes me more comfortable in a relationship uh-huh. which is why probably they would succeed because that's what everyone says you need to work on yourself before you're in a relationship I mean, not that we're allowed in relationships. No dating till marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess on that note, I feel like it's important to ask, or I'm going to ask you guys, would you guys consider love ma- I mean, arranged marriage in your lives? And yeah, let me ask that first. Okay, so personally, I would consider it because I've seen so many success stories. Because like, I feel like at that point in life, like we're going to be like, okay, what we have to do next is marriage, right? So, like, we're both committed in that way. If I know their intentions and my intentions are the same, I think I would try it out, definitely. Okay. But, like, you know, I'm still going to be, like, dating them. Let's not, like, set in stone, go to the marriage altar right now. Yeah. yeah. But how about you? No, I do think arranged marriage is, like, an option, especially how it is nowadays. Because, um, like, obviously, at the end of the day, your parents are not going to be like, oh, this, this guy that is falling apart you get married to him like they're gonna get you like a proper guy at the end of the day right. and like if you have the option to like get to know them and choose who you really want to be i don't think that's like a huge issue mm, what do you think i think i believe in arranged marriage but i want that fairy tale i want yeah. that Tamil Padam Honestly, kada, you know i want to be able to say that like i was turned around and then i saw this girl blow hair girl's hair blowing in the wind and like yeah you know like i still want that right yeah so like i guess 
I guess. But I guess. what the question is, would you do an arranged marriage? Like if you if were you had guys, no, if, I, I, if I, you I, didn't find that blowing hair. <laughs> like I, feel like, I feel like at the end of the day, everyone's going to want a love, a love marriage. Yeah. yeah. Like, like would you consider it, or would you be seeking out love until the day? Because there's so many people who don't get married. I actually don't know. Like I feel like I'm not opposed to arranged marriage, but I actually am. So like, even if I kind of want to. Even I, if you're 36. Well, but I mean, there's also the concept of not getting married. I mean, I know that's a taboo. Like nobody wants to talk about yeah. that. But would you consider like if you didn't find your love, do you think you just want to get married? Yeah, I would honestly want to get married to my. I would want to get married to my job. Okay. Yeah, I feel. Like, and then maybe like after establishment, maybe considering it. But I don't see no. If, like I don't see no rush into getting married. I don't think yeah. personally my next step is to get married, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, I have time for that and all that. But, like, I guess this leads us to the question of what age do you think you should get married? Or would you mm. want to be married at? I mean, yeah, so coming back on your thing, like, I personally don't feel like getting married right now either. Like, but a lot of people are asking for time frames. I mean, yeah. not that it's any of their business, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, when I was younger, like, I always thought it was, like, 25, 26, you know? But, like, I'm 23 years old. I have no, like, idea of it. So, yeah. like, honestly... 26? I'm 23. Okay. That's Did I say 26? <laughs> yeah, I thought you said 26. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. okay anyway, <laughs> um, I don't have marriage in, like, my mind at all. So, I'm not sure. I would probably, be, like, be reaching up to my 30s. So Does, Is marriage in your books? Who knows? If fair it enough. is, it is. If it's not, it's not. That's fair. What about you? I feel like first before that, I want to say that like I feel like in the olden days, like or like back then, like it was like girls had to get married at fourteen or like twenty, or it's like oh she's twenty four, she can't get married anymore, she's so old type of yeah. thing. But like, like, like I even see that see it in my family. It's like my mom's like twenty seven, like you can get married. Like it's like it's like if you get married young now, it's like what the heck? Like she's getting married so yeah, young, literally type yeah. of thing. Uh-huh. But I feel like the right age to get married is like obviously you have to find your person and like like he said like you have to be like you have to be in a position where you feel like you're stable and ready to get into a relationship yeah. because if you're not stable yourself like where's that relationship really gonna go? Yeah, so. literally. <laughs> that was a very good yeah. Idea. I guess this gets into like a very. I don't want to attack anyone, but I feel like personally, I don't understand the people that just get married when they're not stable. But like you do, you. But I feel like that's less. Like I feel like that's like people that are older now. I don't see like. Do you see like? I'm asking like. Do you guys see like younger people getting married nowadays like that? So that's what like. Um, so obviously I feel like it within our like Western culture, I don't see it. But when I recently just went to India and stuff like that, like everybody I met they were so young who was like married into families this one girl like she was talking to me she's like how old are you I was like oh I'm 23 she's like oh my god same and she has a kid that's like three or four years old <laughs> I was like how old did you get married she's like 16 I was like oh it's I, your age yeah really I did not know that still happens like, I feel like I do see it still like I feel yeah. like even oh, now 16 like, at west in even western society I still do see people get western married society? Like, yeah, I do see people getting married at a young age. Oh, young age, yeah. Yeah, and I think it's because, like, I guess some people's, um, I guess their life goal is marriage, you know? Like, some people's life goal That's is true. marriage. That's true. To start and a family. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that, again. Uh-huh. There's nothing wrong with that, but... So, like, they do get married younger, right? So, sometimes they're not financially stable, but at the end of the day, they know what they're going to do, right? Mm. They'll come up to some solution, but... Yeah, but, like, also people have goals, though. Like, you know, like, how that must have us expected, like, after you, like, after you graduate, you're supposed to get married. You're supposed to have a child after that. Yeah. Like, people, like, that's ingrained in their mind, and yeah. they do actually think that, which is, like, good for you, but, like, you know, for some people, that's not it, right? Yeah. So, there's definitely young marriages. Yeah. And like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess for me, it's yeah. Not. <laughs> I guess for me, it's not it. like I don't see young married personally. Mm. But also, I feel like in my family, my mom is on this whole thing where it's like my sister has to get married first. Yeah, no, because I don't understand that. And like, so she's like. You you have to make sure that like she's like it's your <laughs> responsibility to get her married. Whatever you do, don't fall in love. First. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I guess that's low key also ingrained in my brain too. I have, uh-huh. also have that mindset that 
I feel like I need to do but that. But how about if you were in a relationship with a girl who had an older brother too, and she had to get married first before her older brother got married, so who's going to get married, me or her? That's actually very complicated. Wait. That's Whoa. actually very complicated. <laughs> so, we have a book in here. That confused me. Yeah. We have a room book in here. But I guess, yeah, that's, so that's engraved in my head. So, I'm going to see my sister. My sister is 28 when she gets married. I'm 32. I'm not going to see her. So, 34 is basically my age of marriage at the moment. Yeah, that's interesting to me because, like, I didn't grow up, like, knowing that. Like, mine was always just, like, Whoever's oldest, you're getting married first. Yeah. Next one, go. Next one, go. You know, kind of like that. I've actually never yeah. heard that. Really? Everyone in my family, in terms oh, of yeah. cousins, or yeah. like all my cousins, it's like, we have the oldest guy. It's so funny. All the all the first ch- children are guys. And yeah. Then girls, right? Oh. So then they're like, a pimp, like all the Tangachi men get married first. And then it's the guys. the guys. Even in my dad's family, it was like, yeah. his sister got married. And then all the guys got married. Yeah. Right? And there was like two older brothers than her too. and like she had got me okay, one thing i think i appreciate or like about our age marriage is like once again it's like the parental approval right and everything they showed us show us it's like all these people that they show you is okay with your parents so like all this put put them nonsense all the other bs that your parents look at education and stuff it's all ticked off mm-hmm. and at this point it's just do you like them right and i think this whole put them concept is so hard for me to wrap my head around Yeah, like the fact that it's like down to the books, like they actually analyze your two like like charts together and be like, "Oh, you guys get along this way, this way, this way" is like so weird to me Crazy. because it like goes into astrology and everything like that. Like they've been coming up with this like from long time back. Yeah, and yeah. it's actually like like at least I don't know if I, you know your parents put them, but my parents Parents support them as like eight out of ten or something, right? Is really? that like ten or something? And literally during like certain things, they would be like, "I'm gonna go a tiku patte poru tam, I'm gonna go patte ku patte poru tam," right? And it comes up, so it's so interesting how it's ingrained. like a flex you go around, and oh. like we're ten out of ten. Like yeah. I think this whole topic of marriage and like arranged marriage and love marriage is so like honestly, it's a, such a taboo topic. Like my mom really doesn't talk about that kind of stuff, right? Mm. Like. Like, how would you, like, would you ever bring it up to your children at a young age or whatnot? Like, how would you, like, would you consider talking to them about it? It's so interesting because, like, literally same, like, mine did not bring it up either. It was more, like, me egging it on, asking questions and stuff like that. Mm. But I think I would do the same, like, I would do the same thing for my kids. Is like, I'll let them come to me with the questions. Whereas, like, I'm not going to sit them down and be like, one day you'll get an arranged marriage because... <laughs> Who knows, girl? Like, who knows? Really? Yeah. What about you? Because I feel like bringing up the whole topic of just marriage and, like, arranged marriage or whether it be love marriage is, like, creating that connection with your child, you know? Like, just being, like... Don't make me child. seem like a bad kid <laughs> to parent. I don't want children anyway. <laughs> But you're going to have a conversation about your, to your children about arranged marriages? Yeah, like, you know, like, just op- op- opening up that opportunity and making them feel like... You know, you don't have to fall in love. Because like, I do feel like a lot of people, like, especially in university, are on this whole rush, rush, rush. It's like, not another verse to I need to find the love of my life because mm. I'm going to get married with them. And then not until they get, after finish undergrad, they're like, okay, wait, maybe, maybe there's more to it, right? So maybe I'll just introduce it. But I don't know, you know, just so that it's not like a sticky topic where they're not scared to talk to me about it. You know? Yeah, I mean, I guess that goes with parenting. But I yeah. don't think... our parents did the wrong thing about oh, not talking oh, yeah. about yeah. it with us before, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like everyone's experience was because of their own. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, for us, it was like, I we always grew up with, like, my sister has to get me first and this and that, right? So I guess that's basically my thing. And that made me more comfortable talking about topics like this. Mm-hmm. So, like, I guess that's why. I, I, I mean, you also agree with the fact that I think we would be, like, make a little bit more exposure in terms of these topics. So... our children feel more comfortable coming up to us. Mm, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I guess this... Um... This, we can arrange to wrap up this episode. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I love that idea. Gosh. Thank like, you guys so much for watching and we've been loving your support recently. Literally, like we're surprised you want to stay here and watch us all that doing for 30 minutes. And Literally. honestly... 
continues to give us this love and support and we will continue to give you guys the content you want exactly, exactly. and comment below what you guys want to see in the future and you guys have a little idea slip by yeah. but I think but we all have a great alert so when you give us a topic we will have a great alert but that being said thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ragasiya Ara Suda na te te niya atra da minga da kudikra da minga da Until next time. Bye. <laughs>